Now, one of the too often used tropes these days is to make Superman into a violent and evil character. Besides fundamentally misunderstanding what the character is about, it's just far too easy. Turning the proverbial god on Earth into a violent despot takes no imagination whatsoever, and there are so many other characters whose powers seem more subtle but actually significantly more deadly that could be used in the future. If the powers of some superheroes are examined analytically and scientifically, there are many superheroes that could be used in deadly and even horrific ways. And that's what we're here to talk about today as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 superheroes with shockingly deadly powers. Number 10. Emma Frost Now, Emma Frost is an Omega-level telepath with an incredible number of mental abilities. She's a stronger telepath than even Professor Xavier, and she's been on Krakoa's Quiet Council and has been an X-Men in the past, so she's definitely more morally dubious as well. Nothing is more important to Frost than her own life and comfort, and she will go to great lengths to ensure that those aspects remain untouched. Emma Frost can attack the minds of people in both passive and somewhat gentle ways and more direct and violent ones. Emma has the ability to mentally sedate somebody, rendering them unconscious and keeping them this way until she chooses to revive them. She can also cause someone to have total amnesia, simply emptying their mind. Conversely, Frost can fill a person's mind with vast amounts of information, incapacitating them with knowledge. The White Queen can take mental control over almost anyone's mind and body, forcing them to do what she wants. She can also induce intense pain in somebody with just a thought alone. Emma can also induce temporary paralysis in somebody's mind or body as well. She can also produce psionic lightning and psionic blasts. Even without her mental abilities, Frost's diamond form is super strong and she could literally slice somebody to death with just her fingertips. So yeah, don't mess with her. Number 9. Plastic Man Now, it might be hard for anyone to look at Plastic Man and think of the words dangerous or deadly, but everyone forgets that Patrick Eel O'Brien was a criminal for many years prior to this strange transformation into Plastic Man. It's possible that the chemicals that entered his bloodstream and gave him his incredible malleability also unhinged his mind, and his wackiness isn't actually an act, but genuine psychosis. Given the liquid state of his own body, it stands to reason that anyone he trapped inside of him during his antics would actually die almost instantly. For example, Plastic Man will often turn himself into a ball and bound around the landscape. If he were to trap a foe within that circular form, well, they would be crushed into a soup in a matter of minutes. He could also take a literal hands-on approach and kill somebody by snaking one of his fingers up their nasal cavity or down their throat and blocking their airways. Plastic Man also has the ability to draw or shunt mass away to some unknown dimension. As such, he can teleport away something as small as a few inches to something the size of a skyscraper. It would be nothing for him to simply step on his opponent it's like a latter-day giant in this case, or make himself as thin as a sheet of paper, wrap himself around somebody, and smother them to death. Yeesh. Number 8. The Flash Barry Allen is the fastest man alive, and as such, he should be the death of every normal person close to him. He is a complete impossibility, and how he hasn't gone insane dealing with people moving at normal speeds is the most unrealistic thing about his comic. Barry has moved faster than an attosecond. That is one quintillionth of a second. He's even run on photons, which makes me think, how does some guy with an ice gun and a parka give him so much trouble? Barry Allen perceives the world as if it were in slow motion, so unlike the scene in The Boys, if Barry were to run through someone rendering them as nothing but a red mist, he would have meant to do that. Through the use of his speed, the Flash can generate kinetic lightning to stun an opponent, or worse if he so chooses, and he once accelerated the molecules of a helicopter blade to cause it to instantly disintegrate. Imagine what that might do to human flesh. With Flash's speed, he can phase himself through others and walls, but nothing says that he can't just let go partway through. But the cruelest death would come from Barry's ability to travel unaided through time. The Flash could leave a foe at any of the worst parts of human history, World War I, the Black Death, or just as proof that man and dinosaurs could never coexist. Number 7. The Invisible Woman Susan Storm Richards is arguably considered the most powerful member of the Fantastic Four. Her powers make her both the perfect spy and the perfect assassin. As the Invisible Woman, she has the ability to make not only herself, but a number of people and a large area of space invisible. Her prey would literally never see her coming until it was too late. She could even then deliver an army to their doorstep. Another aspect of her power is to turn the optic nerves of her victim invisible, rendering them blind. Sue's most devastating and potentially deadly power, though, 
is her ability to generate force field bubbles of various sizes. She can generate them around herself and others for protection against foes as strong as Galactus. She's also made smaller force fields around or even within the bodies of her foes. She could then cut off the oxygen from her enemies or give them a crippling headache or worse, introduce a force bubble to their brain. She once threatened to block the three valves of the wizard's heart and he passed out just from the thought of it. By forming her force field within an object and expanding it outward, she can also force it to explode. She also has the ability to turn into any number of objects from darts, spheres and other bludgeoning tools to battering rams. So yeah, even if she's not blowing your head up with a bubble, she'll crush you like you were a bug. Number 6. Cyborg after Victor Stone's father Silas transformed his body into the being that would become known as Cyborg, Vic left one world and entered another. In the world he knew, he was the master of his own body, his physical form, and the athletic prowess years of practice gave him. In this new world, he became infinitely more powerful. Of Cyborg's many abilities, high on the list is being able to network with and control computers. With minimal effort and time, Victor can enter into nearly any computer system. This means that he could easily take control of a country's arsenal of every piece of equipment that is run by computers, which in the 21st century is, well, basically everything. He can completely deplete a country's assets by removing all of the funds from their banks or create a coup purely by spreading misinformation online. This is not to say that Cyborg is any less of a physical presence, nor that he hasn't taken precautions against attacks from other superhumans. With continued upgrades, Victor's strength level now tops 20 tons. His white sound blaster is used to stun foes on its lowest setting, but can actually deform steel at its higher settings. Imagine what that higher setting could do to flesh. Vic's EI created synthetic kryptonite, redistributing energy to thwart a phasing Martian and a frequency that blocks the possession ability of his former teammate Jericho. So he's got the smarts and he's definitely got the fists to back it up as well. Number 5. Magneto Whether he goes by Eric, Max, Magnus or simply Magneto, he is easily one of the most powerful mutants on the planet with the ability to generate and control magnetic fields. As someone who saw the horrors that humanity can inflict on itself firsthand, he has been a villain on multiple occasions that required entire teams of heroes to subdue him, and while he's currently on the side of the angels, it would take very little to drive this man over the edge, and given his power, well, he could quite literally end the world. In a world filled with metals of all kinds, Magneto is the most dangerous man alive. From slicing somebody's head off with a street sign to running them down with a driverless car or dropping an entire skyscraper on them, if Magnus wants somebody dead, well, they're already dead. Any bullet shot at him can be sent back at its assailant, and any guns turned on his attackers. Magneto doesn't even need to be surrounded by metal. He can pull the raw ore from the very ground and fashion it into anything he needs, including a weapon to dispatch any attacker. Eric's control over metal is so great that he can pull the iron from the blood of somebody's body, causing them to die a slow and very painful death. Number 4. Red Tornado Whether it's the Tornado Champion or simply the creation of T.O. Morrow, the Red Tornado is an extremely deadly entity with a singular power that can cause devastation on a massive scale. Reddy is an aerokinetic, with the ability to spontaneously generate winds from a gentle breeze to tornadoes that exceed the highest level of storms ever recorded. Red Tornado can also generate winds with both his hands independently, his legs, or his entire body. He regularly creates winds of 136 knots for a sustained time, and this allows him to fly and carry people aloft. As an android, he is never tired as well, so can go to extreme lengths, and also doesn't have to worry about things like atmosphere or breathing for his powers to operate. So therefore, it would be easy for Reddy to take a person so high that they suffocate or take them miles into the air and simply drop them. While his highest level has never been determined, the Red Tornado has created tornadoes in excess of 350 miles an hour or an F5 on the Fujita scale. At that speed, a building would be rendered a pile of rubble in a matter of seconds, or as Solomon Grundy showed, it can rip something very strong in half. Needless to say, a normal human wouldn't last a second against this type of wind. Number 3. Captain Kate Pride Kate Pride, captain of the Marauder, has come a long way since she was the precocious 13-year-old who walked through the doors of Xavier's school for gifted youngsters all those years ago. Through all the struggles, abductions, and near-death experiences, Kitty lost much of her innocence and became a stronger character and a much more dangerous fighter. She also befriended a small alien dragon that breathed fire named Lockheed. If she wanted to use her powers as a killer, she would literally be untouchable. You see, her ability to phase makes her completely untouchable to nearly all physical attacks. The former shadow cat can phase somebody partially into a wall and just let them go. When they're 
organs become solid and fused with the structure, they would die quickly and painfully. Pride could also phase an explosive device into somebody's body and stay phased as the person explodes around her. She could also phase her hand into somebody's chest, grab their heart, and just phase it right out of their body. Carly Ma indeed. But one aspect of Captain Pride's power is that it disrupts computers when she phases through them, often causing them to malfunction or even explode. Given her ability to phase, she could easily infiltrate the Pentagon, MI5, or the Kremlin and either destroy their computers and throw them into chaos or use her vast computer skills to cause destruction on a global scale. Number 2. Black Lightning so Black Lightning has been a hero for many years, first getting his electrical powers from a specially created belt before those powers became eternal when Jefferson Pierce's metagene was activated, and it's Jeff's ability to manipulate those electrical forces that makes him a particularly dangerous man. Other than simply using his lightning to burn somebody where they stand, Black Lightning can kill people in much more subtle ways with his powers. It only takes between 1 to 4.3 amps to stop the human heart. It's a tiny pop of energy for Jeff, and it is well documented in psychological circles that electrical shocks have impacts on the mind. Now, Generally, those shocks are minor, but imagine if they rose to the 20 watts of energy that the brain uses to work, and also imagine if they exceeded it. Black Lightning could use his powers to destroy the power grid, throwing vast areas into darkness, send computers offline, and even medical equipment to crash, causing the deaths of thousands of people without even touching them. His ability to create force fields could simply protect himself and leave his opponent to die outside in a harsh environment as well. Thankfully, though, the streetwise Jefferson Pierce is a good man despite his hardships, but he could have easily gone the other way. And number one, Storm. Now, the mutant Storm could be the absolute pinnacle of dangerous killing machines given the power that she wields. If she chose to go this route, Storm could easily be the greatest assassin the world has ever seen. Even the slightest of her mutant abilities to manipulate the weather could hurt or kill someone in minutes. Her ability to control the air is so great that she can manipulate the air in someone's lungs, removing it so as to suffocate them or overfilling it to cause the lungs to explode. Either way, that person is very dead. Storm is capable of creating devastating hurricane force winds and directing them at a target. Even if her opponent was able to resist those, as any person who has lived through a hurricane can tell you, it isn't just the wind that can kill you, it's the debris that is flying through the air as well. Even the sturdiest tough guy would have a hard time standing tall when hit with a flying Buick in the face at 100 miles an hour. She can also create fields of intense cold, flash freezing someone within minutes. She could also create lightning that would barbecue a person on the spot. Storm even has the ability to concentrate the pollutants in the air to create toxic rain, so this air quotes weather witch could be Marvel Comics' most vicious killer if she wasn't such a good person. Thank God for that. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 superheroes with shockingly deadly powers. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. As always, I've been Jules, so you can go follow me over on Instagram at RetroJ, but the O is a zero. Hope to see you over there, and you can check out all of my Warhammer paintings. Yes, I'm a nerd. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.